Good evening to everyone. Myself is Rameshri DG. We are little bit curious about the tablets. What are the components present in the tablets and which proportions they make use of to prepare the tablets. Here one of the example that uh, determination of the aspirin in the tablet preparation. Uh, today I am uh, discussing about the principle and the reactions and the procedure for the de determination of the aspirin component uh, present in the tablet. Now I am going to explain the experiment of determination of aspirin in their tablet preparation by the acid base titration. The principle which is involved in this experiment is when the acetyl salicylic acid, this is the acetyl, acet acetyl salicylic acid which is undergo hydrolysis when treated with the warm solution warm solution of the sodium hydroxide warm solution of the sodium hydroxide producing the ethanoid and the sodium salicylate this is the this is the ethanoid and the sodium salicylate and excess of the NaOH which is unreacted may be determined by the back titration with standard HCl stand HCl then the reaction which is involved in this experiment is when the aspirin treated with the NaOH uh, at a warm condition these two are formed as the product of this uh, reaction the two acetyl benzoic acid this is the IUPS, IUPAC name of the aspirin then the reagents required for this reaction is 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide and 0.1 normal PHP that is potassium hydrogen phthalate and 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid then the aspirin tablet as the sample. The next part of this experiment is preparation of the reagent. For the preparation of the reagent we have to know the what is the weight of uh, the compound to require to prepare the 0.1 normal NaOH. Here this is the formula for the calculating the weight of the compound that is uh, any any of the compound can be solid only solid compounds can be uh, calculated here weight of the uh, NaOH is equal to normality into volume required into equivalent weight divided by 1000 here normality is the what is the strength what is the concentration we have to prepare the reagent that is the normality we have to put put here then the volume required at which uh, volume required to perform the experiment uh, or we have to uh, prepare the reagent is volume required and the equivalent weight because the, we are preparing the 0.1 normal normal solution of NaOH hence equivalent weight must be put in this in this formula divided by 1000 uh, by substituting this uh, here this is the example by substituting these values we uh, we get the weight of the uh, compound this weight is dissolved and make up to the uh, and transfer to the standard st standard flask and make up to the mark with the distilled water this is this is the preparation of the 0.1 normal NaOH in the same way we can prepare the 0.1 normal PHP here this is the same formula we have to use in this here same 0.1 normal of PHP we need to prepare and volume is 100 ml and the equivalent weight of the PHP is 204.22 divided by 1000 here this is the theoretical weight of the PHP and that is not possible to take exact uh, weight of the PHP therefore uh, this is the weight of the PHP uh, the we measured in the uh, practical uh, therefore the normality will changes therefore the no exact normality of the PHP can be calculated by this is the theoretical calculated weight of PHP and this is the experimental taken weight of uh, PHP into 0.1 normal here this is the exact uh, concentration of the PHP uh, we used in the experiment next here this this case 
for the solid the components then next question arises how we can prepare the liquid solutions here here is uh, one formula that is strength is equal to percentage assigned to density into thousand divided by hundred into equivalent weight here strength means concentration of the reagent here we need to prepare 0 0.1 normal hcl this is the formula 35.58 is the percentage as of hcl and 1.18 is the density of the hcl 1000 as remains same and the equivalent weight of the hcl is 36.48 by solving this we get 11.44 normal here this is the strength of the hcl by using the strength of the hcl we can calculate the volume of the hcl which is required to prepare the 0 0.1 normal HCl. Here, this is the formula N1V1 is equal to N2V2. V1 is the volume of the HCl we need. Then, 0 point, uh, uh, N2V2 is, N2V2 is normality into volume. N2 is 0 0.1, that is 0 0.1 normal we have to prepare. And the V2 is the volume that is uh, filled by the distilled water then thus n1 is the strength of the hcl here this is v1 is equal to 8.74 ml this this is the volume of hcl a uh, concentrated hcl we need to take and make up to the mark uh, in the standard flask the next part of the this experiment is standardization of the 0.1 normal NaOH this NaOH must be standardized before using in the uh, experimental analysis because this is the secondary standard the concentration varies with the atmospheric condition that is temperature and the pressure therefore we must standardize before using the by this manner here titration between the NaOH and the PHP must be taken here uh, 0.1 normal NaOH use it as a titrant uh, and 10 ml of 0 0.1003 normal PHP uh, and indicator use it as analyte in the conical flask here phenophthalene is the best uh, best indicator to perform this titration this colorless end point is the colorless to pale pink here PHP and the uh, indicator were present uh, initially in the conical flask when we had slowly NaOH to the conical flask the uh, acidic acidic medium becomes the basic uh, slowly when we adding NaOH to the conical flask here this is the uh, number of trials of the burette reading this is the concordant uh, volume of uh, NaOH that is used to use it to neutralize the PHP by by this formula we can calculate the normality of the NaOH here this is PHP is the primary standard the it uh, its concentration does not alter with the atmospheric condition therefore the normality remains as same uh, in the PHP and normality and uh, volume of PHP uh, here we uh, we take the 10 ml of the PHP and the no volume of the NaOH that is uh, burette volume 10.5 here then by solving this uh, by solving this we can get the exact uh, exact normality of the NaOH the blank titration means uh, without analyte uh, analyte is called the blank titration here the bure in the burent uh, 0 0.1 normal of HCl HCl is taken as the titrant in the conical plus 10 ml of uh, this normal of NaOH plus two drops of indicator here phenol red is used as the indicator indicator then the end point is uh, must be noted has the, uh, when pink color solution converted into the yellow color solution here the uh, is some experimental values uh, uh, I get in the um, analysis that is uh, in initially the burette reading is 0, 0.0 first the first trial of the uh, final burette reading is 20.4 here also fine initially 0 and finally 20.4 therefore uh, here I get the concordant volume of the HCl consumed 
HCL consumed. Here, uh, concordant volume of the HCL is 20.4. The volume of the 0 0.1 normal, uh, normal HCL consumed for the blank titration is 20.4. It can be denoted as B. The next part is analysis of tablets for the aspirin that uh, uh, that can be carried out by titration uh, titration of HCl against the uh, sample. Here, uh, the same uh, standardized uh, 0 0.1 normal of HCl solution taken as the titrant in the burette, and in the conical flask tablet, uh, ta the weight of the tablet uh, tablet and the tablet powders and the 20 ml of 0. 20 ml of 0 0.0952 uh, uh, this uh, this will be uh, uh, concentration of the NaOH uh, uh, from the standardization of the NaOH and heat uh, heat the solution to cool room temperature and the phenol red uh, indicator uh, must be added uh, in conical flask next uh, here also phenol red is used as the indicator uh, in the initially the tablet powder which contains the aspirin and the NaOH and the phenol red which, uh, which is added added and uh, this uh, as aspirin uh, aspirin and NaOH are react with each other each other and the unreacted uh, NaOH is reacted with the HCl at that point phenol red indicator changes uh, its color to pink to the yellow color uh, some experimental evidence for this is here the initial uh, burette reading is 0, 0.0 and the final uh, reading of first trial is 0, uh, 8.6 and uh, this becomes the initial burette reading and the final burette reading for second trial is 17.1 therefore uh, the concordant volume of the hcl consumed is 8.6 ml this uh, can be denoted uh, it must be denoted as s1 for the further calculation the last part of this experiment is the calculation here weight of the aspirin taken is uh, 0 0.1663 grams here the volume of unreacted uh, NaOH uh, in the titration can be uh, calculated by this uh, formula substituting the volume of NaOH in blank titration is uh, 20 and the uh, volume of HCl uh, uh, consumed for consumed uh, that is uh, denoted as uh, S1 is 8.6 this is the volume of HCl consumed is uh, 20.4 by this uh, we can get the volume of unreacted uh, NaOH volume of reacted NaOH is uh, total volume of NaOH minus un unreacted NaOH here we, we can get the volume of reacted NaOH here the 1 ml of 1 normal NaOH requires 90.0 mg of aspirin Therefore, the 11 point, this is 11.5687 ml of 0 0.0952 normal of NaOH requires this into multiplied of this and this. We can get 99.1203 mg of aspirin in uh, 0 point, uh, this uh, amount of uh, aspirin powder. Then in the 10 tablets uh, in here uh, uh, this weight will uh, getting from the fine powder mixture of 10 powder uh, 10 tablets therefore in the 10 tablets the powder the quantity of the aspirin uh, present is this much 3.1518 uh, of aspirin in the 10 tablets for the one tablet uh, one tablet divided by 10 10 uh, the finally we get the aspir uh, amount of aspirin present in the one tablet is 0 0.3151 uh, for the one tablet this is the final uh, destiny of the experiment uh, uh, we can conclude that